What up, guys? Mad Viking here. Been a while since I think you've physically seen my face. Uh, but I've been asked to start making some videos. I think I'm just riding off the high of my uh, G1 Enzo uh, video from, what, a week, and a week or so ago. It's almost up to 200,000 views. That's the best I've ever done on any video on my channel, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And I think it's the reason why I've had so many new subscribers all of a sudden. I'm almost, well, I shouldn't say almost, but I'm kicking there. I'm almost to a 1,000 subs. So uh, I'm kind of holding off the giveaway unless I slow down quite a bit and I, I get derailed because my giveaway technically has already come. Or should have already come. I'm sitting on the items that are over there, at least the, the major item. And since I've gotten like 200 and something subs, I'm like, I might as well just wait till I cross a thousand. So the sooner the better. I know uh, if you could share this video after watching, hit like, leave a comment, all that stuff. Uh, when I cross a thousand, I'll do it. Uh, unless I, like I said, my channel just stalls at where I'm at now. I think I'm at 931. Um, so yeah, there's that, uh, this, I'm just cleaning up my corner, uh, over here and really some of this stuff is old. Um, but I've just never reviewed it on camera and I never put it away. Um, some of this stuff is damaged now cause there's so much crap over there and I don't know if it's from me or my animals or what, but I'm going to just start going through this. As you can see, this is all jacked up. <laughs> so that'll probably go into my unboxing pile over there that I'm going to do an unboxing video for. Um, so this will probably just be one of them. This is WrestleMania Mojo Raleigh. Of course, I thought this was a good looking figure, even though I don't really buy elites. I mean, not elites basics anymore. Um, that was the line. It was kind of a boring line. He was really the only standout in it, but I, I like this look. That's he's a big Baltimore Ravens fan. And that's what this is playing off of. Um, but I mean, Nothing's gone on with his career since this came out. How long ago? 2017. So, yeah, he'll be in the unboxing pile. He's too damaged to keep. Um, all these toys are us bags. I think I have to keep them just for nostalgia's sakes. God. I, why would I have bought this and hung on to it? I'm sure he's probably open sitting over here. But this is a uh, basic Samoa Joe. I must have been bored that day on that hunt and just bought it for S's and giggles because I'm sure I already have it. Oh, God, this is so old that Emma's in the line. Uh, 2016. So that's been sitting over there a while. But anyway, yeah, this I guess I think I bought it. This is because I think this was his first anything figure. That was the only thing you could buy at the time of a Samoa Joe figure. Now it's everywhere. God, all these basics just got jacked. This one might be salvageable. This is one of those shirt figures. Yeah, I think I can, if I press it down on something. Um, it's when Daniel Bryan retired. I know, I know that's why I bought it. He was red hot at the time, and I was a fan of his. And this was kind of a sad moment. I mean, he's back now, but he's hurt. He's out hurt from WrestleMania, and nobody knows what. And it's a big secret. But anyway, that's his figure. So, yeah, that one I can, I will manage somehow and fix him up. And that is a Transformer. <laughs> Ravage. I don't know how Ravage became like Laser Beak, but I'll just show you that. <laughs> I do crit Transformers too, but he's just in there for whatever. Oh, yes, my two pack. Of the good boys, or the good brothers, the good boys. That has a pretty decent, this is a good, decent battle pack. I mean, look at Luke Gallows there. That is pretty damn good. And it's, uh, other, I was just going to say, it's salvageable. Still in good shape. It just got this thing in the corner, but that, that's not horrible. So, yeah, I'm going to put him over here. I'm trying to organize because I'm supposed to be getting, like, new tile and rip my carpets out. And all this stuff has to get picked up and organized. And Okay, this was what I called Slutty Page. <laughs> and this was another boring line. God, it still had a Berto Del Rio in it. How old is this? 2016. But this is what I called, referred to Slutty Page. 
her blue hair. She's got the stockings on. That one managed to survive four years over there stuffed in my corner. Uh, <laughs> this was probably, yeah, uh, this was nice. Oh, this is the first time in the line. That was not a bad figure. And they came out with, like, a worse one after that, but uh, she has since then gotten an Elite. This one's a little damaged, so, yeah, that'll probably go into my unboxing pile as well. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. Didn't really want to buy this. I think this is the only Vince McMahon figure I have. This is when he was younger, anyway. During the Attitude Area, when he was fighting Stone Cold, that's the network spotlight Vince McMahon figure. So he has managed to stay untouched. What am I going to do with you? I'll put you over there. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the dust. This is uh, when Kevin Owens was still red hot. God, how old is this? This is the line with the Heart Foundation in it. It was hot at the time because everybody wanted that NXT belt. Yeah, is that first time in the line? No, I don't know, but that's Kevin Owens during the his KO phase. I don't know what the hell he does now. Oh, no. How did that happen? Let me see if I can stuff that back in there. Technical difficulties. that even get out to begin with all right this was the only scotty too hottie figure i found and luckily he's still in good condition um we sadly will probably never see a brian christopher now but now that he's passed i don't think he was married though maybe jerry lawler will sign off on that i don't know how that works that was the line at the time it wasn't a bad line everybody wanted that jeff hardy and that ty dillinger but uh Scotty too hotty. Doo -doo -doo. Next up, we have a defining moments beautiful figure here of the Macho Man Randy Savage. I think this is from WrestleMania three. Yep, WrestleMania three. Uh, put him over here. Uh, uh, uh. Doo -doo -doo. Next up, these are new. Got this at GameStop not too long ago. This is a great Elite. I love the heads, the different heads there. That was her Enzo phase that we never got to see get played out. And that's her straight hair look. But we got Nia Jax. Also found it at GameStop recently. That was the WrestleMania signing, contract signing. Ronda Rousey. Back in better days when she liked us. Okay. Next up we have, oh no, come on. Well, that can be salvaged, I think. I really did let these sit there and rot too long. This is also WWE Network Spotlight figure. Bailey, which is a great figure. That's her best figure, hands down. I mean, that it's that's the closest we have ever seen to like her genuine look. But she doesn't really do the tassels anymore, does she? Uh, Put you over here. Next up, we have uh, Magnum TA. I don't know how they managed to pull that off because he was never in the WWE. Uh, I can't remember if I got this during Toys R Us's final days. I know they got this line in towards the end, and I managed to pick up that Chris Jericho figure as well. I think I bought another one of that Shawn Michaels just for S's and giggles. Because, I mean, I think they were 50% off at the time. I mean, come on. Oh, okay. Thank God I was wondering what happened to these. Next up is the Hall of Fame. This is probably the only one I ever managed to find. I didn't really care to have it, but I didn't pick up that other Elite that looked just like this figure. But it's Hall of Fame Series Sting. Not the best Stinger figure, but it ain't the worst either. I do like, I think his best one happens to be the... Um, Marvel TNA figure. Look it up on eBay. It's beautiful. Classic Sting attire. I mean, Crow attire, anyway. Man, I forgot. How did I find this? 
I managed to find one, though. I did want the original. I still want the original. But uh, it's Hall of Fame class. Booker T. Another amazing figure. I'm sure it's the exact same mold as the his original Elite King Booker figure. Uh, proved me wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Great figure there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see here. Bear with me, bear with me. We got another Toys R Us bag here. Oh, that's interesting, and he's all beat to crap. It's probably, I don't know how they, maybe I bought him like that because I intended to open him at the time, but it's Corey Graves. His figure is not exactly accurate because he does not, he is not that big. I just think it's a common mold, and they just stuck his head on there. Wouldn't it be nice, though, if we got an NXT Corey Graves figure? How have they never managed to come up with that? He is on the roster and all. But he's damaged, but he will be in the future unboxing video as well. What happened to some of these? Fuck, Tugboat is jacked. Oh, God, he's ruined. I don't know if I stepped on it or somebody else or what. But yeah, his box is jacked. He's going to be opened now, apparently. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to put him in the open pile. But yeah, we got Tugboat. That was also the line. That was a very sought-after figure at the time. Boy, was it ever. I think that was the first Sasha Banks. Put you over there with the rest of the jacked up figures. Ah, I can see a zombie figure. I thought it looked cool. I don't really care for them at all. That's a zombie figure Sasha Banks. I think every crate box at some point gave them away. Now, I know he wasn't jacked up like this when I bought it. And I think the only reason I bought it was for the accessory, which was the slammy. But of course, that's uh, Dolph Ziggler, which I think it's a weird head skin to him anyway. But like I said, I think, I know, I don't think, I bought it specifically for the accessory. I'm not throwing out that Toys R Us bag. Sorry. Okay. Well, next is these. I will just pick these up. God, these are old too. I bought these two... They came in the same auction or whatever. I bought them on eBay, and it's been so long. Maybe I can slightly remember them saying they were damaged, but, I mean, this was the original AJ Styles figure, and these were so sought after at the time. That's the back. I know I bought one for me. I was going to unbox it and open it and give one to my nephew, but they are both jacked up in the same spot. This was a pretty good... I shouldn't say this was a pretty good line. I mean, look at the line... Everybody wanted those figures. But yeah, I'm probably going to save one now and open the other. So yeah, I'll put him with the jacked up figures over here and figure out what I'm going to do with this one later. Uh, yeah, some of these have just gotten mangled because I don't know what happened. But we got Scott Hall, great figure. I already have one open back there in my little NWO uh, section. I don't know why I'm procrastinating there with the purchasing of the Big Show NWO figure. He only keeps going up in price. Next up, I really wanted this figure at the time, and thank God he's still in con good condition. Sami Zayn, he's booked with a horrible damn gimmick now. Yeah, tell the fans they're morons and suckers every time you're on TV. But uh, this was a good Sami Zayn figure at the time. Then this, of course, is the then now forever Sami Zayn. Uh, he basically it's the same head scan, just different outfit. That uh, was I think Miss Elizabeth was in that. No, because he makes four. They only released four at a time for those things. But the shirt's dope. I mean, even I mean <laughs> they were. They were good for their time. Uh, let's see. I don't want to knock anything over here. It's getting to like start to look like a Jenga puzzle. All right, all right, all right. What do we got? Uh, this is falling. So, what do we got here? What do we got over here? Yeah, I remember where I bought this. This was at the Toys R Us in Wesley Chapel. Pretty good figure. Her other Elite figure I thought was going to sell like hotcakes, but I think you can still buy it off Ringside Collectibles. 
This is what, WrestleMania from two years ago, her entrance, when she's right on the back of the bike. That was a good figure. Uh, I'm really shocked she managed to keep herself out of WrestleMania this year. <laughs> this one's got a dent in it now, too, but I'm sure there's still a million of these on ringside collectibles, too. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'll have to investigate, though, first. Next up is Mankind. Comes with little chunks of hair. Kind of weird, but I don't know. I can't remember if he was like this. It's not really noticeable, but as you know, a collector, that would drive me nuts. The box is still in decent condition. I just I might just keep them with the other ones. I don't have to be so damn picky about everything. <laughs> Another Toys R Us bag. All those network specials. And God, you're still in good condition, buddy. Well, next up uh, is Network Spotlight Undertaker from the Ministry, Ministry of Darkness days. That stupid glare. That was a great figure. Really, I think that was the only figure they ever made like that of that time and that look or whatever. So, yeah, that was when he was Satanistic or whatever he was doing with the sacrifices and stuff. God, I did not like this figure. And I don't recall them ever wearing this outfit. But uh, this is like Fat Jimmy Uso. I mean, look at that head scan. It's horrible. And it's not an, a, an attractive figure by any means. He looks huge. And I know I have the other one somewhere. Or I didn't buy the other one. Because every one that I found, he had like a messed up face. His, it looked like he had a teardrop like he was in a gang or something. And I know I only bought this because I must have been toy hunting and just depressed because I wasn't finding what I was really looking for at the time. That's the rest of the toy line. There was nothing special in that set. Uh, but yeah, his brother's around here somewhere. Oh, God. Let's see. Hopefully these two survived. Yep. This is also from the Then, Now, and Forever line. We have Typhoon, a.k.a. Tugboat. Um, here's the back. Wasn't really high on these figures, but I mean, I doubt they'll ever be made again. So I picked them up. I can't... Yeah, I bought them in a store because they're in a bag. Or maybe I just put them in this bag. What store is this? Oh, Walmart? All right. The other one, of course, would be Earthquake. He's managed to survive the hibernation period over there. Of course, they, kind of, he come, they both come with the classic tag team titles. I read online that the Revival were going to bring those back and start using them, but I, I never saw it happen. So there we go. We got Earthquake. Okay, bear with me. Next up, more Toys R Us bag. Oh, well, you're coming open, aren't you? Uh, yep. Uh, there's that other HBK I was talking about from that line. That must have been, like I said, from the dying days of Toys R Us because I already had one. And I, I'm like I said, I'm positive I picked this guy up for like five bucks. Next up, also, no, nope, that's not from that line, but uh, I said I was gonna make this guy my mascot. I do have an opened one, but of course it's the Berserkers. Berserker, my bad. Uh, keep the Toys R Us bag. What we got over here? Oh. Wow. All right. I must have a few of these. but I know I boxed one up already. But next up, we got ringside exclusive. Beautiful figure still. Wolfpack Sting. I still... Oh, still. I think I heard what's the next one they're going to make. Wolfpack Luger. Ugh, no one's clamoring for Wolfpack Luger. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh... Don't need the box. Let's see, like some of these are just stuff I've had laying here forever. Um, never got to or opened it. This one's still. Oh man, I totally forgot about this when I. Wow. Wow. Okay, bear with me. I don't want to ruin this thing now after all this time. 
Oh, they folded. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Anyways, this is... What series is this? Oh, he's... Yeah, that's... He's still manageable. I can't bitch. Series 21. Wow. He came in the AJ Lee line. That... I have that one. I don't know if I have him, but that was not a bad line either. But this is Alberto Del Rio. It came with that book. Remember when he used to come, when he came into the company, he was doing those I'm Rich and whatever promos. That's that book. It comes with two scarves. I was just thinking about that the other day. Jericho thinks he brought scarves to the WWE. Where, what rock has he been living under? Well, that is a great figure. <clears throat> yeah, I must. I, I remember slightly being drunk on Alberto Del Rio at the time. Uh, when he came back, I think his second time. Man, I've had this for a long time, just sitting in that box. Wow. All right. Don't need that box. What do we got? This one. Oh, wow. I remember buying these on eBay, God, probably well over a year ago. And I probably, I think I got them both for six bucks. They're probably still that, that much on eBay. But it's, uh, what the hell were they called? Alpha. I can't even remember anymore. But uh, it's Chad Gable. God, is this then down forever? What a weird set. Oh, that yeah, that's right. They came with that. That's my favorite figure of Seth Rollins still, and I have this as well. But we got Chad Gable with the old NXT belts. Like I said, I got them for probably five to six bucks a piece together as a set. And, of course, it's Kurt Angle's kid, Jason Jordan. He's retired. I don't think he's ever coming back. Man, that was... that was. Wow, okay. Shit, I'm running out of space here. Let me pause. All right. This is the line at the time. Uh, we got the big boss man, Attitude Era, when he was... In Vince's Corporation? I think he was also in the Ministry for a time in this look. I can't remember. But this is when he came back from his disastrous run in WCW. And he was the, what, the Guardian? And when he was in Big Bubba Rogers or whatever he was when he was... He was also in the NWO. He was one of those guys. But yeah, there's that guy, that guy, that figure. I wonder if this came from ringside. Next up, I believe it's the same line. Yep, it is. We got Tatanka. Great figure there. Back in his younger, better-looking days. He still wrestles, I believe, on the indie scene. And he's still a pretty big, jacked-up dude. He's like the Native American PCO, but he ain't doing bumps like PCO, I can tell you that. Wow. Yeah, these are from ringside because now I'm recognizing stuff. God... Uh, that's not horrible, but it can be saved. Uh, next in the line, well, the line that said it came in, we have Gold Dust. Not his best figure. I mean, his original Elite from whatever series that is, that is the best with Gold Dust figure ever. But I thought this was Attitude Era. Well, I think most of these looks were from the Attitude Era, except from that Elite figure he had a few years ago. Um, when he was with his brother, tag team. Next up, we got the Boogeyman. That's the set he was in. Great figure as well. I'd be shocked if we ever get another one. I mean, he only had really a look. And that, that, uh, this is it. Do, 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 do. Right. Yeah. I know I already had one of these, and I'm staring at now wondering why I have it. Because I think I bought it maybe for replacement parts, so I was going to unbox it. But it's Defining Moments uh, Stone Cold. There's the back. And let me, this is the Stone Cold belt, the old Eagles. Oh, two of the different versions of the Eagle Flame. I think I got this for $12. And this has been sitting here for a long time, too. Unbelievable. Um... Let me put him over here. Oops. What's down here? Okay. 
I know I think I have this on my Instagram, but yeah, she's going to be in the unboxing video as well. We got Sasha I Quit Banks, and I believe this is the Chase, and I don't know. I picked it up in the store. It's the only one I found in the stores. It was in perfect condition, but I also bought it with the damn Slam Mobile, and it put a dent in there somewhere on the transit ride home. But uh, yeah, we have, I believe it's Chase Kurt Hawkins, but uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to unbox him as well. Okay, we got that box. Holy crap. Wow. So you move stuff around. Now, I bought this because uh, at the time I don't think I had the old macho uh, figure that looked like this, resembled it anyway. But this was from Toys R Us. <laughs> You're supposed to get some Macho Man CD with it or DVD and the sunglasses would never fit my face. But, I mean, it's not a bad, it wasn't a bad figure. I think, I can't remember what I paid for it, but I've been sitting on this for a while, too. Holy jeez. <laughs> they had these little sets. You could get a Cena one, I remember that. I think maybe a Seth Rollins. Yeah. Uh, wow. I, I think I'm going to just keep, it survived all this time. This might just get boxed up and put away. Um, I think. Oh, there's. Hang on. Oh, those are Transformers. But I do have this. Ah, kind of happy it survived. This was that charity. Oh, wait, do I have more? No. Nope. Just my Rey Mysterio mask I've been looking for. But this was that charity figure from 2018. I don't know. They said what were the, they were going to donate like five cents to every one of these figures made. It was the scene enough figure. Let me read the back. Over the last 15 years, no one has drawn a stronger reaction from the WWE Universe than the 16-time, I think it's 17-time now champion, John Cena. Whether you've cheered him or jeered him, this exclusive scene enough figure celebrates the 15th anniversary of the most beloved and divisive superstar. God, 15 years? Yeah, I guess I would be right. But I believe this is that charity figure. Yeah, because he's never worn that. But uh, I think that's everything over here. I don't know that I've reviewed everything over here, but that's a different pile for a different time. And a lot of those are just basics anyway. So I'm just going to leave that alone. But um, yeah, I just made a dent in my mess. So like I said, here's I had this in a... Uh, can't remember. I think that was a Russell, Pro Wrestle Crate box. But anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, I'm going to have to box these up and decide which ones I'm going to open. And I think Saturday night's NXT. Uh, so, yeah, well, I'll have that. But, yeah, that'll probably be it for me until Saturday or whatever after si uh, Saturday. Because I'm having a get-together on Sunday for Easter, all that good stuff. So, happy Easter ahead of time. But um, that's it for now. That was my... Like that was like I said, that was just me picking up my mess basically from past uh, hunts and whatever. But uh, like I said, hit like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Like I said, share whatever, like help this video grow. Like I said, the faster I get to a thousand, uh, I'll do my giveaway because uh, it just seems more you know whatever at this point because I'm like I've already explained why. But anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this. Catch you guys next time.